Hey folks, welcome to this video of the case of 2000S, hopefully being picked and got it. The case of 2000S is a high security lock featuring 14 or 15 pins on three sides. So five here, five here, and usually five on the top. The key looks a little fancy. Uh, it looks something like this. And as you can see, the biddings, uh, the bidding has uh, some cuts with some steps there. And the reason for this is um, actually key protection so that others can't copy this key that easily. And that's also what the S in 2000S stands for, namely Stufenbohrung which translates to uh, step drilling. So for this key, it's actually not the key that operates this lock, but just some random key. And the reason for this is because I received this lock from Potty, and he apparently didn't have the key for this lock, so he just threw in uh, some random key into the package. So I um, have an idea of what the key for this lock looks like. So let's get started picking. I will just clamp this lock up here in the vise. Okay, now I've got the lock clamped up in the vise, and I'm going to use this standard C or set tension wrench here to tension the caso, and I'm going to use this standard straight flag here to jiggle my way into the keyway and we'll hopefully be able to set most of the pins on the way to the back just got a pretty deep false set See if we can jiggle more pins like this. But I don't think so, so we have to resort to single pin pick the remaining pins. And we've got an open. So that was pretty fast. And we are going to pick, uh, cut this lock. Now to get it, we hopefully can do this. Let's put the voice aside. Probably using a screwdriver to remove the clip on the back here, which is kind of strange. And now for the interesting part, namely the gutting. So, and I just read that the way to do this is to just Hold your finger on the plug and tap on it to remove the bars. So we've got a bar with no holes in it. And those bars here, they hold the pins. So, so check. and what you've got is this bar here and the interesting thing is that Keso decided to use the same bar on all three sides uh, at least the two sides and he, they, these bars have, have a direction so that the pins are offset to each other And 
this bar is symmetrically and the bar on the left side now should be the same as the bar on the right. Just give it a little tap again and maybe it's a good idea to refocus but insert it the other way around. As you can see we've got the white part right here and again I'm starting to dump those one by one and here's the bar the drivers are actually not all the same but are sprues and regular pins so what I am going to do now, just realigning those, is to dump the core. Just dump it here. Okay, now I finally got the pins all sorted. There are three rows of five pin stacks each with the top pins being here, left pins here, right pins there. And let me just lift this up and refocus the camera on them, because I think you will find those pretty interesting. As you can see, especially the driver pins are very tiny, uh, very thin. I think the thinnest one is about one millimeter. So I have no idea how I will be able to reassemble this, but what's also interesting is that many of the drivers are actually spool pins and that some of the key pins, like the one here, actually have some nastiness there, namely some latch, and what uh, fascinates that me most are the springs on these because they look very fragile. I wonder if they break on those cases because I honestly would not be surprised because they seem rather weak. Anyway, that's the Kesa 2000S. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, other than that, just Keep it legal, stay healthy, and see you around.